Now, one thing that's very common in Australia is crossbred fish, particularly crossbred cichlids. Now, if you choose to keep these fish as pets, that's totally okay, but you do not want to breed them because here in Australia, we have very limited um, varieties of fish that are available to us, and we don't want to go watering them down and crossbreeding them. So in here, we've also got a lovely looking red devil. We've got an amazing red tail shark. That is an absolute beautiful fish and a real favorite of mine. Let's get the red tail out. He's like such a good fish. That is a awesome fish. He's 10 years old. Yeah, well in the wild they live about seven years, so that's pretty good going. Now this tank's the same, because this tank here has got a tiny little filter on it, and that's giving a little bit of re-aeration. So this aquarium here, I would want to definitely put more oxygen in it. And then I'd even think about chucking a whole bunch of marine pure balls in it because I'd want an increased biological capacity. For the number of fish that's in this tank and how flat the surface is, this is absolutely not an ideal environment for these fish. I would want more oxygen and I would want more filtration, more biological capacity. Otherwise, you end up with low dissolved oxygen and low redox potential. He's going in six foot. I bet. And he needs to get fattened up too. He's yeah, very he was, skinny. He was really fat and then he gets food, his food got taken. So he's only just gotten in.